Virgo Libra cuspers. Well, hello there. How are you, darling? Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Eric. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, y'all? All right, so let's just get straight into this. Um, I'm doing your monthly readings for April. I'm going to be doing a mini freestyle reading. If you're not familiar with that, if, like if you're new to my channel, you're not familiar with that, stay tuned. You'll see in just a moment. And if you are re returning, then you know what this is all about. Yes. So I have your pre-shuffle energies here. And... No surprise, it's very similar to the reading for Leo Virgo Cuspers. Um, it's just, it's so funny how I'm noticing how similar, you know, these energies are, even between like the main zodiacs, you know, I, I mean, I've been, I've been doing this channel for like two years now, and I'm just now really starting to see how the stories are really continuing, and I love that. I really love that. I think it's so cool. But what you have here is a, a big change is happening for you. Um, for you guys, the first two cards that came out was the star and the wheel of fortune. Okay. And when these came out, what I heard or what I felt was you're literally just going with the flow and allowing the universe to, to, to heal you, to bring things forward for you, to heal situations for you, to bring change for you. I feel like, especially because you also have the king of pentacles here and the king of pentacles and the star are two cards that came out for the Leo Virgo cuspers. Okay. So I feel like whatever is happening for you right now, you are in a very grounded and well-balanced state, very sure of yourself, very understanding of yourself. You've been through a lot. You've learned about your a lot about yourself. Um, and so you're very, very stable in all that. And there is, there can be a level to the King of Pentacles energy of like not need, feeling like you don't need to go within or change anything about yourself or learn anything new about yourself because it's like, whatever, I know everything there is to know. Like I'm good in myself. But for you guys, I feel like you've gotten to this point where you're very, you've changed or at least you've gotten really solid and grounded and balanced within yourself, but it doesn't feel like you're not willing to change anymore. I just feel like you guys have come to a point where you're really solid enough to allow change to be facilitated by the universe and to almost allow the universe to just like drop you wherever you need to be, you know? landing on your feet in terms of that now you do have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck here again this is just your pre-shuffle energy but the change that you've dealt with or the change the, the change in that you've dealt with in yourself okay this the solid ground you've come to within yourself um and now the subsequent change that's happening in your life moving forward was catalyzed by heartbreak it could be a romantic relationship one specific romantic relationship it could be a string of romantic relationships it could be an overall pattern in relationships or it could just be anything that was heartbreaking for you anything that just i don't know tore you to pieces or 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 in some cases you might feel like it ripped you a new one you know what i mean like whatever the case may be it doesn't matter what it is what this is specifically and keep in mind this is a general reading all right so take it as it resonates but it's this heartbreak it's this sense of defeat even i'm hearing destruction that has helped you to rebuild yourself to learn more about yourself and to move forward gracefully even well, my, my, that sure is beautiful, isn't it? Mm hmm Oh, okay. For some of you, Spirit did want me to say, because I did pick up on, um, this King of Pentacles energy could be a new man or masculinely oriented, dominantly masculine individual. So it could be a man that's dominantly masculine, or it could be a woman that's dominantly masculine. There could be some sort of relationship coming through. That was a, that, there, that was a really small little thing that, that did pop up when I was looking at that King of Pentacles pentacles all right but ultimately the the message still stands whatever changes you've been making to your life is creating the way uh for some sort of reciprocal i heard i just heard reciprocity so it's it's basically paving the way for that to come into your life okay beautiful let's keep going hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Virgo Libra cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020.
Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get straight into this. Let's give this five shuffles. I'm laughing because I heard 10 shuffles. I heard this voice say 10 shuffles. And then another, like it was a masculine voice. And then a more feminine voice was like, five shuffles is just fine. <laughs> No, 10 shuffles. Five shuffles is fine. Okay, so we're going to go with five shuffles because I'm not about to sit here and shuffle 10 times, right? <laughs> right, that was one. This is two. For my Virgo Libra cuspers for the month of April 2020, let's see what we've got for you here. Three. Four. Virgo Libra, Virgo Libra, and five skis. Yields, yields. Ooh, ooh, wait, let's try that again. Try that again. Five. This is five. For my Virgo Libra cuspers. Here we go. All righty, kids. Overall energy for you guys. We do have, okay, we have the Four of Swords. Uh, what I'm hearing for you guys is right now you are in a restful period, okay? Um, there is great change that is happening that is coming forward towards you right now. Um, and you have already gone through a hell of a lot of personal development. And I'm hearing maybe even skill development too in terms of this. So you are due for a rest. This is like that this is like that time period. I know for me personally, I don't do well by may, but I don't I don't necessarily do well by completely bombarding myself with material over and over and over again. I find that if I like if I take some time and really study for a good amount for a good minute or for like a good while and then I leave it alone for like a day or two or something things will start to click and sl and and settle in better if I just keep powering through it I start to forget I start to lose things my mind becomes a sieve and I'm 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 ingesting but it's not like it's staying there right so what that's what I feel like this is going on this is happening for you right now you guys have been in this process this deep extreme learning process where you really became much more solid and grounded in yourself and now is your time to let to rest and let that settle in yeah let the foundation settle right okay four of swords underneath the four of swords is the moon okay underneath the moon is the page of cups and underneath the page of cups is the four of pentacles okay um this is good though this does this isn't bad this isn't good again you're in a settling period right and so you have this four of swords so you're 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 resting you're meditating you're retreating you're taking a step back the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck is also representing this stability this foundation for you that is kind of in the process of settling that you're settling into right now so so it's like you're holding on you're holding your space you're holding your ground that's good um, and then you have this moon energy with the page of cups. So the moon is talking about this period of uncertainty, cycles ending, cycles coming to a completion, closing out for you. And while you're in this four of swords, four of pentacles, the moon type of illusionary, a little bit of energy, and while things are settling in for you, your found, excuse me, the foundation that you've been working on developing is settling for you. You're in this process of being able to dream. The Page of Cups is the dreamer energy. This is another card that came out for the uh, Leo Virgo Cusper, so you might want to watch that reading. Um, but I just feel like in this moment of uncertainty, you have this time period to just continue to focus on your dreams. And I don't want you to think that this moment of uncertainty is anything bad. It's not. It's actually really, really good because you're just, you're. it's like you're taking a step, step back. You know, you're, you're in a little bit of a hibernation mode while you rest up and let your foundation settle. And while that happens, you can continue focusing on your dreams here, right? Okay, that's beautiful. I really like that for you guys. So let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you, for my Virgo Libra cuspers, you got the hermit. Okay, Virgo energy for sure. But like I said, okay, so this is good. This is confirmation. You are moving into a little bit of a hermit mode. Okay, that's really good. For some of you, there's even an energy of um, doing like a, a personal internal review while, your, while this foundation settles for you. 
it's like you're taking your life experiences and just like playing them up against you know the 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 screen of your soul and just kind of seeing how things line up seeing what things you do like about what you don't like about this that and the, th the third and just doing some internal organizing as your foundation settles like this this is this is weird but this feels this hermit energy right now feels like internal administrative work admin, administrative work like internal paperwork <laughs> <laughs> internal paperwork you know what i mean it's like all this shit happened out in the in the in the external or at least all this stuff happened in life and now you gotta go go within and file all the reports <laughs> that is an interesting concept i have never seen the hermit like that before but it, it kind of makes sense please let me know if that resonates with you i'm sure getting a kick out of it okay the hermit is coupled with the page of swords oh my god 11 11 um that's so funny because it's the page of swords energy that's that like inquisitive individual or that inquisitive energy it, i kind of feel like the page of swords is the one that would go through and file everything you know read through everything organize it put i mean like that is so crazy that's also a very virgo energy not gonna lie like administrative work and like organizing and filing and whatnot that's a very virgo energy okay but like but but this is like this is this is making sense i feel like this is making sense of the internal work you've been doing okay excellent second set of surrounding energies for you guys we have oh the five of swords I'm still getting a sense of processing. So I guess, I guess you're coming out of a period of maybe self-sabotage or sabotage of people around you. There could be some people that are kind of trying to watch you. I don't know, maybe if you've separated from a, a number of people or a, a situation, you know, and you're moving in a completely different direction, there could be, so, and you're like really keeping to yourself, there could be a good amount of people that are watching you, trying to sabotage you. And I feel like these are people from the past circumstance that you're moving away from now. Five of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Okay. But also this is, I, I, the one of the main things that I was picking up with this Five of Swords is this is past energies. These are past energies. And uh, originally I was picking up and I wanted to say that it's like you're coming out of this Five of Swords. You're leaving this Five of Swords energy behind. And quite frankly, you are and moving towards a greater sense of the Ten of Cups or emotional fulfillment. Okay. I feel like, I feel like you might have gotten to a point where you're no longer going to sabotage yourself and your dreams. Hello, the Page of Cups, the dreamer energy. Very good. Very, very good. Your challenge. Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth. And this, I mean, first of all, this could be Virgo, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. Ultimately, though, um, speaking archetypically, it, it, it represents Capricorn. But this could be anything. This could be any of the Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And it doesn't even have to be one of those signs, but it also could be very very Virgo energy because we are talking Virgo, uh, Libra, Cusper. But this is also where the Libra aspect in this is kind of coming through here because your challenge is to know your worth. Your challenge is to hold fast to your worth and not give of yourself in ways that are, for lack of a better term, beneath you. And by beneath you, I mean that is not in that does not honor what you know you're worthy of. And that doesn't mean that you can't do pro bono work. That doesn't mean that you can't do charity work. But this energy of feeling obligated to give or work on finding balance for people when they're not giving back to you just for the sake of finding balance, Libra, is what's being highlighted here. And don't get me wrong, Virgo can do that too. I just feel like Libra is a little more of an offense, a, 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 a offender with that when, we, when it comes to that. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to pass any judgment. I'm just saying, just reading the energies, y'all. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, well, the tower. I mean, yes. 
see there are some structures that are going to have to fall by the wayside in order for you to be like, look, that's not worth my time. My time is precious and is worth quite a bit, actually, and I'm going to honor that now. So there you go. Look, tearing down that tower, that structure, this self-sabotage in terms or in order to go for a greater sense of emotional fulfillment and happiness. A boop -a boop boop right? I like that. I like that. Your closing message or potential outcome here, Virgo, Libra, Cusper. You've got, ooh, you've got the Four of Cups. Unrequited love. Mm, I kind of feel like this is you not accepting a cup from someone else. Four of Cups is coupled with, oh, yeah, the Queen of Swords. Look at that. You are, re I really feel like this is, and, and actually the Queen of Swords does represent Libra. Officially as that archetype. I mean, of course it could represent Virgo, uh, Gemini or, or Aquarius as well, but Libra is officially the Queen of Swords here. I feel like you are turning down an offer here. It doesn't serve your highest good is what I'm hearing. And this, I feel like is a big part of this completion that's happening for you. Because in the past, you may have accepted this offer, whatever it may be, because maybe you didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings. But now your challenge here, ooh, we could be breaking, we could, um, I'm not going to lie, you guys, this absolutely could be the breakup of a marriage uh, or the breakup of a long-term relationship. And it would be the feminine that is walking away from this. Oh, wow. Now, the reason why I even started going down that rabbit hole is because the Queen of Swords can often represent a divorcee or someone that's been hurt in relationships in the past, which often facilitates her cold heart, <laughs> right? Okay, so then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which, to, which can be, represent the wife archetype. And then we have the Five of Swords with the Ten of Cups. And that Ten of Cups can represent the happy family, happy marriage, happy home situation. But you see, in this situation, it's very much a happy wife, happy life. And looks like wifey's not happy. So I feel like it's the feminine. If this resonates with you, it's the feminine that's going to be separating from this marriage or this circumstance, this relationship. And I'm hearing until she gets what she wants, until she gets what she is worthy of. So this is why there is a turn down of an offer here, because I feel like with this queen of swords energy, you're going to be able to see right through it and know that it is not genuine. And a lot of that has to do with intuition, yes, or psychic ability, yes. But also a lot of that is coming from this queen of pentacles and the, uh, the, uh, this understanding of what it is you're truly worthy of and how that's not, that's maybe not that requirement isn't being met. Wow. So you, you actually, you guys may have been separated. You may have been in separation, whether it be energetically or physically. Now, of course, that I'm, of course, as I'm saying, separation. Now, of course, whoop, twin flame. Okay, so maybe this is a twin flame situation. It doesn't matter. I'm hearing it's not. It's an actual marriage, and it's actually it might it's actually a karmic relationship. Okay, but keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. All right, so please take it as it resonates. But ultimately, with this hermit energy ear, either you guys have actually been in physical separation for a while, or you've been energetically separated, you've been, you as this queen of, or this queen of swords individual, whomever this is, has been keeping to themselves lately, which has been causing their partner to kind of be like, to seek out information. What the hell is going on here? Why are you avoiding me? Why are you being so quiet? You're never this quiet. I don't understand what's going on. Which I feel like if they did say something like that to you, that only drove you deeper into this hermit energy because it's like, what do you mean you don't know why? You should absolutely know why. Oh, wait a second. That's right. No, you're kind of a narcissist. You wouldn't even think about that, would you? Ooh, honey, that is deep. Deep. 
There is also, at this point, someone may be so fed up that at this point they're willing to go after their Ten of Cups at all costs, which means, which could potentially mean breaking a vow. And I don't mean cheating. I mean ending a relationship, ending a marriage. And that actually could be you breaking a vow to yourself or maybe even doing something that you in the past may not have necessarily been morally aligned with. You may have been one of those people that kind of looked down or talked down about or to people that got divorces or whatnot, whatever. But now you're in, see, change in perspective though, because now you're in a situation to recognize that you are not being honored in the way that you know you should be. And thus there is no choice but to break free. Mm. Let's get a closing message here for you. from the Unicorn Oracle, just to close this out for you. All right, here we go. Closing message, potential outcome. Well, no, not closing message, potential outcome, but just closing Oracle guidance. Um, before I go any further, I do wanna say, I wanna take back a statement that I said. It, it doesn't have to be the feminine that's breaking free from here. It's just that the feminine energy is coming through with knowing your worth and um, uh, bringing, balancing the scales. That the, the, those feminine, the, just the feminine was coming through here. So it might be the feminine that's, that's going through this. And again, this is not gender, this is energy, right? So you could be a man and embody and be more femininely dominant. Um, but it's feminine principles that are influencing this anyway, okay? So it doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be just the feminine. This is a general reading. Okay, so, for, oh, well, there they are. Okay, we have celebration, we have miracles, and we have gentleness. At the bottom of the deck is, yeah, intuition. All right, listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. All right, so if someone comes up to you trying to make an offer... Please trust your intuition, okay? And if it's not in alignment, then cut that shit quick. You have celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. So either, I, as if we are talking about a relationship here, either y'all are gonna rekindle the relationship or you're gonna iron things out or you're not and you're gonna be free to move forward whichever way you, you desire. Either way, there's a celebration at hand, all right? You have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on the way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. For some of you, you're listening to me say, you're, you're, you're facing the end of a marriage or a breakup of a relationship and you're hearing me say, there's celebration in that. I don't want to break up my marriage. I don't want a divorce from my husband. I don't want a divorce from my wife. What do you mean this is a celebration? And to that spirit says, surrender the how. Because it could very well be the best thing for you to, for you right now is to leave that relationship, if that's even what we're talking about here. And then you have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness and speak words of love. Yeah? Virgo energy can be kind of quick to pop off at the mouth. <laughs> I should know, guys. I'm a Virgo rising. So just be careful of that. Okay. All right, kids, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again soon, most likely for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.